What's going on, guys? XRP Vale here. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, don't just sit here and watch the channel. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share my videos. Hit that like button. XRP Vale is my Instagram, Patreon, pinned in the comments. Now, let's get into it. So, I'm going to tell you guys you know, basically what Gary Gensler has been saying about the crypto regulations. And I want you guys to always remember that Ripple, Ripple has been working closely with regulators, okay? This is why XRP will survive, okay? And every other cryptocurrency, a lot of them will be dead. One, especially ones that's not compliant with the ISO 2022. Okay. Now, let me show you guys what Gary Gensler was saying about regulations, especially the exchanges, too. Okay. Now, <clears throat> a lot of exchanges, they're not following the regulatory fr framework. And a lot of exchanges are following the regulatory framework framework okay and kraken is definitely one of them because they became the first crypto bank but never mind that let me tell you guys what gary gensler said about crypto regulation okay here we go let's get into it okay right now large parts right now large parts of the field of crypto are sitting astride of not operating within regulatory frameworks, okay? That protects investors and consumers, guard against illicit activity and ensure for financial stability, okay? So I'm gonna continue. Currently, we just don't have enough investor protection in crypto finance, issuance, trading, or lending. Frankly, at this time, it's more like the Wild West or the old world of buyer beware that exists before the securities, before the securities laws was initiated. This asset class is rife with fraud, scams and abuse in certain applications. We can do better. I have asked SEC staff working with our fellow regulators to work along two tracks. One, how can we work with other financial regulators, uh, how can we work with other financial regulator regulators on the current authorities to best bring investor protection to these markets? Two, what gaps there, <clears throat> what gaps are there that with Congress's assistance we might fill? At the SEC, we have a number of projects that cross over both tracks the offer and, and sale of cryptocurrencies, crypto trading and lending platforms, stable value coins, investment vehicles providing <clears throat> exposure to crypto assets or crypto derivatives, custody of crypto, crypto assets. With respect to investor protection, we're working with our sibling agency, the Commodities Futures Trading Commission as our two agencies have relevant and in some cases overlapping jurisdiction. In the crypto markets with respect to broader set policy frameworks, we're working with not only the CFTC, Commodities Futures Trading Commission, but also the Federal, Federal Reserve, Department of Treasury, Office of the Comptroller of Currency, and other members of the president's working group on financial markets on these matters. Further, I have suggested that platforms and projects come in and talk to us. Many platforms have dozens of hundreds of tokens on them, while each token, each token's legal status depends on its own, <clears throat> on its own facts and circumstances. The probability is quite remote that with 50, 100, or 1,000 tokens, any given platform has zero securities. Make no mistake to the extent that there are securities 
on these trading platforms. Under our laws, they have to register with the commission unless they qualify for an exemption. I am technology neutral. I think that this technology has been and can continue to be a catalyst for change, which it will. But technologies don't last long if they stay outside of the regulatory framework. I believe that the SEC working with the Commodities Futures Trading Commission and others can stand up more robust oversight and investor protection around the field of crypto finance. So you guys, basically what he's saying is a lot of the, this is from Gary Gensler and regulation. Okay. A lot of these exchanges that are out here, there's hundreds of them. There's so many of them that's not operating within the regulatory framework. Okay. And they said that there could be securities especially if not operating a regulatory framework. And he's saying that he wants the exchanges to come in and talk to them, but a lot of exchanges aren't coming in and talking to the SEC because they're doing illegal stuff, okay? They're running without uh, um, regulatory uh, clarity, the exchanges. And they're just running. So notice how he said a lot of them have securities on it and the exchanges are not coming in to talk to them about how they can continue to operate, okay? You know, a lot of them are operating without, the, without their license, okay? So now we know that since XRP has the power to be a, deriv a derivatives security fully exchangeable to any currency, commodity, or asset, it will survive regulations, okay? Whether it's a derivative security or currency, it will survive regulations, okay? So basically, you know, all the exchanges, you know, they're going to come come after uh, stable coins and stuff like that. Basically, <clears throat> they're going to come out with um, they're going to come after custody of crypto assets and things like that. OK, so I highly suggest just get your exchanges. No, get your exchanges, get your XRP up the exchanges and put them on a ledger nano X because all these exchanges are are going to get regulated because most of them or probably only 10% are operating within regulatory framework and they have their license. Okay. And if they say, um, XRP is a security, it will be a derivative security. And that's why it will survive the, um, the, um, uh, the regulations. That's why it will survive the regulations because it has the power to be a derivative security which means it has a use case of transferring the value of every currency, commodity, and asset in the world. Now, every single digital asset, every single digital asset's long-term value is based on its use case, and XRP has the best use case, okay? XRP Vale here, like, comment, subscribe, share my videos, share my videos, share my videos, keep my post notifications on, and that's what Gary Gensler was saying about you know, regulations and regulating the space. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that like button, smash that like button, share my videos, share my videos, share my videos. Keep my post notifications on, Patreon link pinned in the comments. XRP Veil is my Instagram. Peace out, you guys. Let's get into it. Yeah.